Welcome and welcome back to my vlogging channel where we share lifestyles and good vibes. Guys, today is the, the 20th of June. <laughs> today is the 20th of June, guys. I keep forgetting. Yes, it's the 20th. It's Thursday. Um, I just wanted to come and say hi to you guys. I think it's been a while since I sat down and said hello to you guys. So I am just saying hi. What's up? How are you guys doing? um today i'm just going to be chilling as usual um cook some food some lunch i had breakfast did i have breakfast i actually had three mangoes guys because i live in the land of mangoes so i had three mangoes for breakfast um i had a cup of tea a um a um pressured a pressure tea bag that's what i had with no sugar just the water let me take the tea bag for, for you guys to see let's see so this is it guys it's a blood pressure tea bag can you see blood pressure so that's what i had today and three mangoes because i love mangoes guys i eat a lot a lot i have another fruit to show you guys hold on okay so before i show you the guys the fruit let me just continue yes so um i drank the um pressure tea bag and i had three mangoes and i'm gonna cook today i'm going to be cooking some dumplings chicken potato and pumpkin all one pot all together i've already prepared the chicken it's already cleaned and seasoned the <clears throat> the dumplings well the dough has already been rolled it's already mixed i'm j i just have to um roll them into tiny little balls and I have to cut the pumpkin. I'm only using half of my pumpkin. I have a nice little pumpkin. Um, and um, just some potatoes. I'll show you guys in a minute. But guys, ah, stop. Caribbean blues, guys. Yes. Yeah, so um, <clears throat> let me show you guys. <laughs> It's amazing that every time I start recording is when they start doing that. Every time, guys. Yeah. Because yesterday I didn't record anything. I didn't vlog anything. They were very quiet. But today... Mm -mm. <laughs> we're going to interrupt that today. Yeah, but you guys know I'm from the Caribbean. So you will hear chickens and roosters in the background. You will. You know? Um. Yes, yeah, so... Guys, I'm from St. Lucia. I live in St. Lucia, born and raised, bred in St. Lucia, guys. 
I thought that I knew every single fruit on my tiny island. I swear. So, where did I go? Where did I go? Where did I go? Oh. <clears throat> Was it that way? I can't remember. But I went somewhere with my guy and, you know, well, not very far. Just in our neighborhood, we went walking. And I didn't, I wasn't watching what he was doing because he's doing his thing. I'm doing my thing because we're just walking, you know, looking for nuts, cashew nuts and stuff like that. I'll show you the guys, the cashew nuts. We have them outside getting dried in the sun. And he comes back with two fruits that I've never seen and some mangoes. But I'm like, what's this? And he's like, that's like a custard. So I'm like, custard? What do you mean custard? So now I'm thinking, I know custard, there is a custard um, pastry that you eat from the bakery. I think I had one of those on one of my previous vlogs. I showed you guys, I was eating a custard one time. So this, that's what came to my mind. Not the pastry, but the custard inside the pastry. So that's what came to my mind. So I'm saying, maybe that fruit is what they use to make the custard. Because I honestly don't know where custard came from. When, when I, when he spoke about, when he told me that it was a custard, then I was thinking to myself, like, really and truly, I don't know where custard came from. Anyhow, he's like, that's custard. And he didn't tell me the exact name of the fruit. I thought it was a custard fruit. That's what I honestly thought. But then I said, I will sit down one day and Google it. And I saw, and so I did Google it. I did Google the fruit, guys. And I found out what it was. This is the fruit. This is how it looks. This is the shape, everything. First glance, it just looks like a mango. So, I thought it was just a type of mango. Honestly. I honestly, honestly, honestly didn't know what that was. I've never seen this before until a few days ago. Yeah? This is it. He said this is a, a custard. He said that I can put it in my smoothies because he knows that I make my smoothies and stuff. He said I can put it in my smoothies to drink. So I'm like, hmm, okay. Two of them. The other one was tiny and it started getting too ripe, so I threw it away. But this is the one that I have left. This one is bigger one. So I sat down on Google last night because I was curious as to, as, to, as to finding out what exactly that fruit is. And I put in, in the search party in Google, I put types of yellow fruits in the Caribbean, found in the Caribbean. And lo and behold, guys, this came up first. This came up first with all the other yellow fruits. Yes, mangoes, whatever, what, whatever there is. But this one came up first. And I was like, what? No. All I did was say... I want um, all the yellow fruits in the Caribbean. And this came up first. Hmm. Anywho. It said that it's a canestil fruit. Canestil. And it's a custard as well. It's a custard fruit. So. I went and I googled the fruit. I'm going to do it again. Can it still? You see, I'm not sure if you guys could see. I googled it last night, and then there, there it says all types of yellow fruits in the Caribbean. You see it right there, and then it it. I clicked on this, and then it brought up a set of fruits, and then when I realized it gave me this, I saw the name. I went and I googled the name, right there. Okay, so this is the fruit. Can it still? So, let me tell you what it says. It says, canistil, small tree of sapodilia. So, it's a, a sapodilia family grown for its edible fruits. Canistil is native to Central America and North America. Sorry. Central America and North and South America cultivated in other tropical regions. So, my, my region is definitely tropical and we're considered to be in Central America. The sweet fruit has... The sweet fruit have orange flesh and are commonly eaten fresh or made into custard or milkshakes. And that's exactly what he told me. 
and I never knew about that fruit, guys. So I'm curious, curious. I'm a little skeptical as as to what the taste is, but I am also curious. I am curious as to as to what type of fruit it is, guys. As to how it tastes, that is, yeah. I really want to taste it and see what 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 it's like. And hopefully it's good so that I could continue eating it. I'm going to also um, Google the benefits, you know, because yes, it's a fruit, but I want to know the benefits of that fruit as well. Let's find out since I'm all benefits. Yeah. Um, additionally, the fruit is high in fiber which can help to support healthy digestion and may also help to lower cholesterol levels and reduce the risk of certain types of cancer. Mm. Definitely a good fruit, guys. Definitely a good fruit. And another thing about it, it says it's called an egg fruit as well. Egg fruit is also rich in anti um, antioxidants, um, which help to protect the body from damage caused by harmful free radicals. So it's a good fruit. This is going to be part of my fruit diet because I love fruits. I eat a lot of mangoes, guys. Now that mangoes are in season, I eat a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of mangoes. Yeah. Um. So, new fruit on the market. Canestil, scientific name. Custard, I guess that's part of the scientific name as well. And egg fruit. Yeah. So, that's the three names that it has currently. So I'm going to taste it. I will tell you guys how it tastes. Not in this vlog because I want it to get a little more ripe. Yeah. But you guys will know how it tastes. And if it's good enough for me to continue eating it. Yeah. The taste that is. It's good with the benefits. But how, it's, how it tastes on my palate. Alright guys. Um, You saw that I took a shower a little while ago. I'm getting ready to go prepare my lunch it has already been prepared everything is prepared it's laid out i just have to put everything in the pan and i have to turn the um dough into smaller balls so i could get it in the pan the dough goes in the pan last yeah i took a shower guys i feel good my hair is unsticking but that's not a problem i'm not going anywhere so it's going to stay like that that side isn't sticking that side is fine yeah um but since i'm going to cook i'm going to tie it back down i'm going to tie it back i'm just gonna do this and that and this and that tie it like rambo commando yeah so i'm just gonna leave it like this and i'm gonna prepare my lunch today guys yeah it's a hot day as usual what's up guys what are you guys doing um on this beautiful thursday june 20th I, yeah june 20th what are you guys doing what are you up to how was father's day guys um my last vlog you guys would have seen that i had a little 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 outing father's day outing with my dude we just went on a little you know a little celebration we just um dressed up nice and we went for some drinks we had lunch i didn't show you guys the lunch actually it was dinner i didn't show you guys what we had but we had some food um we had some drinks we danced a little and we came back home yeah it was good yeah so that's what we did for father's day what did you guys do or what did you prepare what did you do with your guy if it's a father your dad whatever yeah, my dad lives in England. Um, he's not here in St. Lucia. Yeah, but so I could not have done anything with him. So let's go and cook, guys. Okay, let's go cook. Mm, I'm tired. Let's go cook, guys. All right, guys. So my dough has already been rolled. I'm going to go ahead and turn it into smaller balls in a minute. I'm using half of this pumpkin. The, this pumpkin is from my garden outside. Very small pumpkin. I'm going to cut it. I'm going to only be using half of this. These two potatoes. The chicken has already been cleaned and seasoned. I'm waiting to go in the pot. I did some lentils. Let me show you guys. 
Since the lentils it has already been boiling for a little while, so I'm going to add the rest of the ingredients. The chicken is going in there rolled into bite-sized pieces. Those three big ones are for my daughter. She likes them big. Um, the potato is peeled. The pumpkin is peeled. My chicken, like you already know, is ready. So let's put them in the pot. Guys, I changed the direction of the the position of the pan. Let's put the chicken. The dumplings will go in the last guys. Let's just let let this simmer down. I'm gonna put some water. let me show you my um, cashew nuts that we picked up when we went walking we have a lot this is it guys it's a lot trust me so they're in the sun drying getting dried a few fell out and then we're gonna roast them The pleasures of living in the Caribbean, the benefits. And you guys know cashew nuts are very, very expensive. So to be able to have your own, to get your own, is priceless. Alright, let's go back inside. Guys, lunch is ready. This is my bowl. I'm going to sit and eat. 